And Jesus withdrew from there and went beside the sea. And a huge crowd gathered around him so that he got into a boat. And he was seated teaching on the sea, and they were on the land. And he began to teach them many things in riddles. And in his teaching he said, Hear, look, the sower went out to sow. And it happened in the sowing that some seed fell beside the way, and the birds came and gobbled it up. And some seed fell on rocky ground where there wasn't much soil. And it sprouted immediately because the soil had no depth. And the sun rose, and it was scorched, and it withered. And some seed fell Come on among thorn plants, and the thorns grew up, and they choked it. So it was without fruit. And some seed fell on good soil and produced fruit, growing and yielding 30, 60, no, 100 per measure. So whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Now when Jesus was by himself in a house, those with his disciples were asking about the riddle. And he said, to you has been given the mystery of the empire of God. But to those outside, everything comes in riddles. So looking, they look, and they don't see, and listening, they listen, but they don't understand otherwise. Oh, they might turn and be pardoned. <laughs> he said, you don't understand the riddle? Oh. How will you understand the other riddles? The sower sows the word. Now there are those beside the way where the word is sown, who hear the word, but immediately Satan comes and snatches away the word that is sown in them. And there are those sown on rocky ground. Those are the ones who hear the word and immediately receive it with joy. But when trouble or oppression come on account of the word, they stumble. And there are those sown on among the thorn plants. Those are the ones who hear the word, but the worries of this age and the lure of wealth and the desire for other things comes in and strangles the word. It's without fruit. And then there are these sown on good soil who hear the word and receive it and produce fruit yielding 30, 60, 100 per measure. And he said, no one lights a lamp in order to put it under a bed or under a basket, but on a lampstand. So there's nothing that's a mystery except to be made known, and nothing hidden except to come to light. So whoever has ears to hear, let them hear. Uh, uh, beware of what you hear. <clears throat> By the measure you measure out, it'll be measured out and increased for you. <laughs> See, to those who have, more is given. To those who don't have, even what they have is taken away. And he said, in the empire that God brings, it's like this. A man plants a seed in the ground. He sleeps, he rises night and day, and the seed sprouts and grows. He doesn't know how. On its own, the earth produces the fruit. First the stalk, then the head, then the full grain in the head. And when the fruit is ready, it offers up its yield because the harvest is ready. And he said, to what shall we compare the empire that God brings? And to what riddle shall we put it? It's like a seed of mustard weed, which when sown in the ground is the smallest of all seeds of the earth. But once it's sown in the ground, it grows up and becomes the largest of all shrubberies. And it sends out its large branches shoop, 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 so that the birds of the air can nest in its shade. And Jesus spoke to them many other things in riddles as they were able to hear it. And he didn't speak to them 
apart from riddles. But with his disciples, privately, he would unravel everything. Now, later that day, when it was evening, Jesus said to his disciples, let's go to the other side. Well, they took him along as he was in the boat, and there were other boats with him. And a, a sudden storm whipped up, and the wind was bombarding beside the boat, and already the boat was filling up. And they were terrified, and Jesus was, was in the stern, sleeping on a cushion. And they, they rouse him and say to him, Teacher, don't you care that we're about to be destroyed? And rising, Jesus rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Silence! Just shut up! And the wind stopped. And there was a great calm. Jesus said, oh, Why are you such cowards? Don't you have courageous trust yet? And they were arguing among themselves, saying, Who is this guy that even the wind and the sea obey him? <laughs> 